On 1 January 2020 Tom Ford succeeded Diane von Furstenberg and became the 11th head of the Council of Fashion Designers of America. He is responsible for fashion weeks in Miami and New York as well as competitions for young, up-and-coming designers. Ford is recognized seven times as the best women's and men's couturier. During the pandemic, the council raised over $6 million in support of young fashion designers. During an internship in Paris, in the press office of the fashion house Chloe, Tom felt a great interest in fashion design. After returning home and gaining a degree, Ford took up a job. He begrudgingly took on the popular fashion designer Kathy Hardwick and she hired the young man with no experience. In 1988, he joined Berry Ellis International and stayed on as art director for about two years. Not appreciating American fashion, which he considered vulgar and pretentious, Ford left for Europe. He was delighted to be hired as a women's wear designer at the legendary Gucci house in Milan, which was on the verge of bankruptcy at the time. The young American designer soon established himself in the best possible way, designing all of the brand's new collections, perfume and shop decoration. A year later, Ford, Gucci's creative director, launched an unexpected collection in his favorite 70s style, resurrecting tight corduroy trousers, shiny satin bats and shoes with metallic sheen. Glamour and sexiness became his concept. The market had waited so long for beautiful clothes for everyday life and finally got them. And Tom knew how to create demand and sell like no other. The fashion designer boosted the house's sales by 90% and restored it to its former glory. Ford was voted Fashion Designer of the Year in 1996 by the Council of Fashion Designers of America. Since 1999 Ford worked for Gucci under Yves Saint Laurent who bought the house. They disagreed about the departure from the brand's classics, but the sales figures spoke for themselves. In 2003 a major scandal erupted when an advertisement for the Gucci Spring Slash Summer collection was shown showing model Carmen Catspubes with a shaved G on it. In 2005 Tom Ford, who already had a name and reputation as a talented couturier, created his own name brand and left Gucci. He began with an unconventional move, first with eyewear, then cosmetics and perfumery. The first women's fragrance created, Black Orchid, unexpectedly also appealed to men. This was the start of a unisex product, which again featured nude models in its advertising campaign. For many years now, Black Orchid has been on the list of leading niche perfumers and is a model of good taste, luxury, and glamour. Two years after opening the fashion house, Ford launched a menswear line and opened a flagship boutique in New York. Friendships with celebrities promoted the brand. In 2008 Ford created the look for the next Bond film, forcing the Italian brand Brioni, which had previously designed Bond suits, to design Daniel Craig, one of Hollywood's most handsome men. For Justin Timberlake's World Tour 2020 experience in 2013, Ford also suggested some 600 costume options. In 2010, Having proved himself to be a brilliant marketer, Tom held a private screening of a new women's clothing line. In doing so, the public's interest was piqued to the limit. The talented designer's clothes are worn by many stars, Gwyneth Paltrow, Scarlett Johansson, Beyoncé, Jennifer Lopez, Michelle Obama. Fashion by Ford is a combination of glamour, sexiness, perfect cut and precise details. Tom has broadened his horizons and emerged as an equally talented director. He set up his own film studio Fade to Black Productions and in 2009 adapted Christopher Isherwood's novel Lonely Man, directing, producing and co-writing the script. Ford prepared for the film for four years and shot it in three weeks. Colin Firth and Julian Moore in the lead roles with accurately recreated interiors and 60s clothing made a stunning film. The debut film received an Oscar and Golden Globe nomination, as well as a Venice Festival Prize and BAFTA and AFI Awards. In 2016 Ford released his second masterpiece, the psychological thriller Under the Cover of Night starring Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal. The film won a Silver Lion at the Venice Festival and a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. Tom Ford has made no secret of the fact that he is gay. 
In 1986 he met Richard Barclay, 13 years older than Tom, editor-in-chief of Women's Wear Daily magazine. On Christmas Eve, Barclay presented Ford with the keys to the flat in a Tiffany box. From the following day, the couple began living together and did not part for 35 years until Barclay died on 19 September 2021 from a serious long-term illness. The couple lived in Los Angeles, preferring it to Italy and Britain. The couple have a son, Alexander, who was born to a surrogate mother in 2012, after which Tom and Richard were legally married in 2014. On the 1st of January 2020 Tom Ford succeeded Diane von Furstenberg and became the 11th head of the Council of Fashion Designers of America. He is responsible for fashion weeks in Miami and New York as well as competitions for young, up-and-coming designers. Ford is recognized seven times as the best women's and men's couturier. During the pandemic, the council raised over $6 million in support of young fashion designers.